Protective barriers are an essential method of infection control. Examples of barriers used in the modification industry include table paper, dental bibs, bottle bags, clip cord covers, machine covers. Cover cart with plastic and lap cloth. Cover armrest with lap cloth and secure with barrier film. Layout disposables. Cover clip cord. Layout disposable ink cups. Cover squirt bottles. Cover power supply and knob. Layout needles, tubes, and machines. Purge the berry care tube. Apply berry care to cart. Fill rinse cup with distilled water. Apply petroleum jelly to cart. Secure ink cups with petroleum jelly. Fill disposable ink cups. Assemble needle, tube, and machine. Bag machine. Barriers used to cover equipment or any other surfaces must be removed at the end of each procedure or as soon as possible when they become contaminated. The underlying surface must then be properly cleaned and disinfected before a new barrier is applied.
Skin Prep Proper skin prep equals less chance of an infection equals less chance of a lawsuit. Tincture of green soap, Noxema, isopropyl alcohol, BZK, witch hazel, and Dr. Bronner's are not adequate skin preps. They do not have the bacterial reduction equivalent to a product that is meant to be used in procedures where the skin barrier is broken. Read up on MRSA. In addition, those manufacturers will not support or endorse the use of those products for use in a tattoo procedure. Use Technicare to prep skin. Technicare can also be used for shaving and stencil application. Before covering tattoo, apply a thin layer of berry care. To properly cover tattoo, use dry lock pads. Dry lock pads pull fluids away from the skin, which helps inhibit bacterial growth. Never use plastic wrap. Remove covers from bottles. Remove covers and tear down machines. Properly dispose of any biohazard materials. Spray Prepzyme into the tube. Place ink cups in rinse cup. Place paper towel in cup to soak up liquid. Properly dispose of all other hazardous materials. Clean and disinfect machines. Clean and disinfect workstation. Remove and dispose of cable cover.
Equipment such as clip cords, machine heads, foot pedals, power supply packs, sundry jars, procedure tables or chairs that come in contact with blood or OPIM must be cleaned and disinfected at the end of each procedure or whenever necessary. At the end of each shift, put on the appropriate PPE and retrieve equipment isolation tub from the work area. Be sure the isolation tub's lid is secure. Carefully transport the isolation container to the dirty side of the sterilization area. Place isolation container on the counter closest to the equipment processing sink. Initial rinse and scrub. The purpose of cleaning and rinsing is to remove all visible debris from an item and to reduce the number of particulates and microorganisms. Thorough cleaning and rinsing is vital to the effectiveness of subsequent processes used for decontamination, disinfection, and sterilization. Nitro gloves are to be worn when processing contaminated instruments. Spray Prepzyme into the tube. Use a product like Miltex Instrument Stain Remover to scrub each tube. The outside of each tube should be scrubbed with a nylon bristle exterior tube brush. Thoroughly rinse equipment in the processing sink under warm, low pressure running water to remove gross debris. Thoroughly inspect each tube for any remaining visible debris or stains. Carefully place equipment into the disinfectant basket. Do not overload the basket. Do not place dissimilar metals together in the basket. To reduce the risk of splashing contaminated liquid, Gently lower the basket back into the disinfection tub. Make sure all equipment is fully submerged in the disinfectant solution and replace cover. Allow equipment to soak per the manufacturer's instructions. Most disinfectants require a contact time of 10 minutes. After proper length of time, remove lid from disinfectant bath. Slowly lift the enclosed basket out of the disinfectant tub. Rinse each piece of equipment under warm, low pressure running water. Carefully place equipment into the ultrasonic basket. Replace disinfectant basket. To reduce risk of splashing contaminated liquid, gently place the ultrasonic basket back into the cleaner. Replace the lid. Allow equipment to run in the ultrasonic cleaner per the manufacturer's instructions, usually from 15 to 30 minutes. 